young be ham from a Glasgow town, the Turkish nation for to see. The Turks took him as a prisoner and bound him to a trusty tree. To his right shoulder they bored a hole, and through and through they put a key. They throwed him in dark dungeon where they lied he never could see. The jailer had the beautiful daughter, a beautiful daughter, oh, she. Have you any house or land? Have you I'm just a go over Jordan. I'm just a go over I'm going back. Tom, how did this film about Ray Hicks come about? Well, <clears throat> I had a colleague, um, Jack Schrader, who was professor in the art department and later head of the art department. And he taught uh, photography classes and he was interested in filmmaking. And uh, so we made uh, a number of films about Appalachian culture during the 1970s. Short life and trouble, a few more words to part. Short life and trouble, you girl, for boy with a broken heart. Now you know what's promised. Now more than a week ago, you promised that you'd marry me, a standing in your mama's door. Well, now, did you discover Ray Hicks? No, <laughs> I, I wish I could say that, <laughs> but uh, I, I think the uh, we uh, I got to know Ray Hicks earlier than this. Uh, Professor Manning and I, another a colleague of mine in the English department. We had begun uh, collecting folklore in the, in the Beach Mountain area and other places uh, during the 60s. This here is uh, Ray Hicks, and, uh, and I was born 1922, August uh, the 28th. My name. Uh, as fully the way I sign it is uh, Leonard Ray Hicks, L-E-N-A-R-D, Leonard, R-A-Y-R-A-H-I-C-K-S, -A -Ray Hicks. My children now, uh, uh, my oldest is Leonard Monroe Hicks. Leonard was named after uh, me and, and my wife's father. Monroe Hunter. He was in the Vietnam War over there and fit through a lot of it. Ted, I mean him, out of my dad. Ted Nathan, he. I know the boys will have to hit jobs, but still I would like for them to keep up and carry on of some of our old ways that I've teached, just like I've carried it on for my people and handed it down. I will say that I, I'm pleased to say, at least, that uh, I, I was able to um, introduce Ray to Jimmy Neal Smith in the National Folk Telling Festival in, mm -hmm. Down uh, in Jonesboro. In Jonesboro. And that, I think, spread Ray's uh, recognition over the world more than any other single thing. <music> Miss Buny Hicks is Ray's great aunt. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I will say about th these two ladies that we're going to sing, they had wonderful personalities. Abram Bailey had three sons, the youngest one was center. All through the wild woods he went, just like a jovial hunter. 
Blow, blow this horn, blow east and west. Blow your horn, center, and on his way. When again, just like a job of hunter. Another one I like. To, yeah, there's several more verses to that. I just, there, uh, not got time to finish singing it, but uh, it's several more verses of it. It's an old song, and I'm going to play Pretty Fair Maiden now. I like it. It's a pretty tune. Miss Bertha Baird, she was a, the elder of the two, mm -hmm. but just as bright and sharp as she could be. And since we only had, you know, like I explained, one roll of film each time, we'd explain kind of what we want them to do, and then we'd take it. We didn't have any double takes and come back, and you know, the, well, we just had that one take. And so I wanted her to say her name on the film. So she hadn't said it, so I inserted the question, and what is your name? And it just, it just slays me each time I see it, that uh, it was kind of like, you must be awful dense. <laughs> I just <laughs> told you, Bertha Beard. <laughs> I was born in Alexander County, in North Carolina, at a little place to call the Curly Mill. And the song that I'm supposed to sing now is uh, my learned from my father. He sung it many years ago. I was born in 18 and 80. Is that all you want to know? And your full name? Yeah, but it's a Hubbard Beard. I'll put my knapsack on my back, my rifle on my shoulder. I'll march away to New Orleans, and there I'll be a soldier. Bottle a doo doo doo, and a bottle a doo da da. And uh, I will say that uh, <clears throat> uh, Stanley uh, is an important figure in his own right. Mm -hmm. and, and he, in fact, received the National Endowment for the Arts Heritage Award the same year that Ray received it, in 1983. this moonshine still from uh, uh, from a local sheriff and he had a I mean a whole lot of, of these moonshine stills and <laughs> so he we went it was like a smorgasbord we went down he said well you need a good cooker let's see <laughs> here's one and now uh, you know a good worm right over there is a good and so we got this still and took it up to Beach Mountain and got Stanley and his sister Hattie to dis demonstrate uh, the making of moonshine whiskey. Take a coin to the mill and grind it. We use about a uh, round, full bushel of corn. We grind it up and we put it in a barrel, big barrel, and, and we scald it with gold and water. That's the get it started stirring, and then we take uh, some rye and we'll have to bury it in the ground to swell. And when it's swelled, we take this uh, rye to the point dry, sprouts and dry. We take the meal and uh, have it ground. That'll we'll feel a little bit skiz about it. Well, we'll put it in these brown stuff, and it takes about two weeks to get it ready to put it in the steel. This steel is what I call these. I don't know what. That's what we always call them, still. Uh, the first take really surprised us because they came out 
dressed as moonshiners uh, and hillbillies. And, and uh, Hattie, you can't even see that she's a lady. She has on this floppy hat and she has on these old clothes and they have guns strapped mm -hmm. to them. <laughs> and and they, they've made up this little dramatic situation of making moonshine and hearing noise they think is the revenueers and all this. And that was the first take. Down hide it. We don't leave it like this now when we get through. And Alps sort of wash the dish gets too hot. It scorches a whiskey, you know. And uh, it takes a good little while to build up the thing to get everything ready. I, hey, I thought I heard something come. You sort of check me just a little bit. Uh, well, I, I, I thought I believe it's panel. I believe it's a panther. Well, it also occurs to me, seeing that take, is that uh, their mother, Beauty Hicks, uh, we asked her one time what her favorite uh, television show was. And curiously, she said, Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley uh, was, uh, was a great storyteller, and he told the Jack Tales. But he also told a lot of uh, interesting anecdotes and other kinds of family stories and local stories. And one very interesting one that he tells is about the ape man or the gorilla man. Gorilla man. Well, now, a gorilla man, there was one in that country. They saw it several times. I just saw part of it one night. And the gorilla, Man, you probably might have saw them on television or something. There are just a lot of interesting stories um, from a lot of interesting people around Beach Mountain. And um, I think that, that Ray and Buny and Bertha and Stanley and Hattie, they're some of the most interesting people up there on, or were on, on the beach. Mm -hmm.